Now, let's go to Palestine, where correspondent Huda Hegazi is at the Al-Aqsa Martyr Hospital in their El Balash government, the only hospital remaining active in that area and receive around 200 wounded daily. I am in the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital in the governorate of the El Bala, in the center of the Gaza Strip and the only hospital that remain active in the central governorate of the coastal enclave and due to the great agglomeration of people since this is the only hospital that received patients and wounded of the center of the Gaza Strip. The administration of this hospital has been forced to set up tents, also known as field hospitals, in order to accommodate the wounded and the patients after the surgeries. Addis has been assured that there is no place inside this hospital to accommodate the wounds and the patients. And now we will enter one of the tents to see what is inside. And as we can see, they are formed by treasures of medicines in addition to first aid medical service, such as devices to measure the blood tension, to measure the sugar levels, and here mainly are installed to the wounded and patients after performing surgical operations. As I mentioned above, since inside the buildings of this hospital, there is no place since, as reported by the administration of this hospital center. Normally, they were used to receive on a daily basis approximately 200 wounded and patients, but now because of the war and because this is the only hospital that remains active, they receive approximately 800 patients and therefore we have not seen the obligation or this administration has seen the obligation to have to make this type of hospitals here so that he can talk to us about this situation and how he is doing here. Hello, please tell us what kind of injury you have and how is the situation here in the tent? The situation is relatively normal as it usually is in these places. But I have to move from here because I got shot and so I am just as you are. I'm very grateful to the doctors for all they are doing, but there is not enough treatment. I am suffering a lot and waiting to be operated. I have been waiting for almost a week and a half. And why don't they operate on you? Because there are so many cases, that's why. As we can see, this kind of wounded man received a bullet from this really helicopter and he has made sure that has been waiting for more than two weeks to be able to perform the surgery. But to the crowd of people, the large number of wounded and the large number of patients and what is being tried at the moment is to try to revive and put into operation the hospital for example in Han Yunis and different areas in the center of the Gaza Strip in order to reduce the strain that this hospital is receiving on a daily basis.